Question 40. Which diagram represents the quark composition of an anti-neutron? So they give us a bunch of pictures here. Nice big, what do you call it? Baryons, nice big baryons. But how do we know what an anti-neutron is? Well, you have to kind of memorize this one for neutron especially. Neutron and proton. So this is an anti of a normal neutron. So you have to remember a normal neutron is going to be up, down, down inside the neutron. So the anti of this neutron will be anti or anti up, anti down, anti down. Everything you just reverse anti become normal, normal become anti. So here you have to kind of look where u is up, d is down. Well, they give you a key here so nice in case you don't know what u and d are for. So we look around, we see a u, d, d, anti. So the best choice here is a. Aha, this one is uh, this is our anti-neutron, right here. Okay, uh, how about B though? U, U, D, this is actually our anti-proton. Okay, anti-proton will be U, U, D, but anti, anti, anti. Alright, uh, there we go. C, like, how about C? U, D, D, uh, this is a neutron. Okay, neutron is U, D, D. And the last one, U, U, D. This is a proton. U, U, D. So, if you haven't, go and memorize your the, the bottom two ones down here. The neutron as well as the proton. And then the NT, just invert it. Okay, so that's all for this question. I'll see you in the next one.